We would like to acknowledge the support that we've continued to get, not just from the government, but also from development partners to grow a robust institution that is equal to the task. As you can see, the problem is widespread, huge, big, with serious economic consequences. And so the SEA must play its role in mitigating, in fighting, in preventing importation and production of counterfeit products within the country. As you will see, counterfeit products outcompete genuine products, but they are also endangering our safety. They are taking over other people's intellectual property rights. They undermine the economy. It is like economic terrorism. And so I am happy that we are all here to put our heads together, to learn from each other, to exchange notes, to share experiences on how we are all dealt with this issue. And I really want to appreciate the support that you've given to SEA in the fight against counterfeit. I also appreciate that we are not going just to find a, a fight counterfeit by uh, enforced, through enforcement, the activities of creating awareness, research, documentation, outreach and awareness that these are important activities that we need to deploy. The use of technology cannot overemphasize. And so we really, I want to say that you have the support of the government of Kenya in this fight against the counterfeit. And we believe that all of you who have come here have come to acquire new skills and new tools so that you can be enlisted in the army of fighting counterfeits. We also appreciate that one agency cannot be able to deal with this issue, and that's why the Kenyan approach has been to have a multi-agency approach, where you have SEA in the driving seat, but you have the support of the police, uh, the DCI, the Kenya Bureau of Standards, the Kenya Revenue Authority, the border control, and all these other uh, things put together. As a counterfeit agency, it is very, very important that your work is above board. You have to make sure that your systems, your regulations, your activities are above board. That the citizens have confidence in the work that you're doing. And so it's very, very important uh, not only for SEA, but for all of us that are involved in this space to ensure that we do an open, clean, and accountable job so that the people that we are working with and even the importers feel that the system that we are using is fair uh, to everyone. In terms of a growing industry, I would like to say that the new government of Kenya has very robust ideas about how to promote industry. And uh, apart from fighting counterfeits, we're also putting a number of other policy measures to make sure that we increase uh, our manufacturing from the current 7.3 percent to about 15 percent by 2025. So we have a very, very ambitious plan. And we are working through several mechanisms. One of them is which you had yesterday. We were launching it. It's called a county aggregation and industrial parks. Kenya is divided into 47 counties, each with a governor, uh, with their own cabinet. And we have come up with a formula where each county is identifying the value chains that can provide raw materials in that county. And through partnership with the national government and the county governments, we are co-funding uh, through a project that is worth 500 million from this starting financial year to put up a common manufacturing facility. So we, in each county, we'll be putting up warehouses for raw materials and warehouses for finished products 
and sheds for manufacturing that will be supplied with electricity, water, uh, and everything else, effluent management, to allow small people to go into manufacturing just by plugging into uh, these spaces. And, uh, and we are hoping that through this we can start to drive the industrial revolution that has been very massive uh, for all of us. Already 14 counties have adv advertised contract, uh, construction of those industrial parks. So as a government, we are taking, uh, we are thinking out of the box, we are taking very bold steps, and we think that county industrial parks will be an important game changer that to produce at the county level. We are also looking at our industrialization policy to make sure that it brings together all aspects. In Kenya, we are promoting the policy of Buy Kenya, Build Kenya, where all government institutions have to buy 30% of all their requirements from local manufactured products. And this has worked extremely well uh, as a way of promoting and encouraging those that want to go into that space. We are also coming up with an industrialization bill to support some of the work that we want to achieve. We, as you listen to the President, he has indicated that we are getting our own imports. We have identified products that we think are being imported, but we can make here in Kenya. We are not going to stop from importing, but we are going to tax them. So starting this financial year, a number of products will be attracting an import levy. Uh, and so if you are importing something that we can make, uh, then you uh, be charged a fee, and that fee of an industrialization fund that will then help support people within the country that want to uh, buy machinery, uh, expand their manufacturing. So we, we, we are hoping that in this coming financial year, we should be able to raise nearly a billion shillings that fund. And uh, we are also having interest from development partners. And we are hoping to develop a specifically going to young people that want to go This financial year, we have also put 600 million in Kenya Shillings into a fund that we are 